Kwa majina naitwa Ambrovin Auma Yongo. Sasa niko na familia ya watoto wawili. Nilipata kujua hali yangu wakati nilienda clinic ya mtoto during maternity. Then kajikuta niko positive. Nimemeza dawa kwa miaka mitatu mpaka saa hii. Nilikuwa na shida nilikuwa nawahisi mkono inaniuma nikakuja huku Karen nikafanywa matibabu tena daktari akaniambia una safi kwa kansa wanafanya na ni free na nikapatikana niko nayo It all started in 1998 when I lost my father I was introduced to practice some cultural norms to have unprotected sex with a stranger so that I can cleanse and my family and then I just came to realize that I'm HIV positive in the year 2002 Uh, I took uh, like six months without taking any medication because I was still on stigma, I was still on denial, and I didn't want anybody to know my HIV status. So PACT stands for Partnership for Advanced Care and Treatment. And the focus was really to support HIV service delivery. This is HIV prevention, right from testing, to linkage to ART, provision of antiretroviral treatment, and everything around retaining the patient on treatment. Our main model for implementing the PACT and ELISA program, one was uh, based on client-centered interventions, where we put the patient at the center. So for example, our children programs, we, we have specific pediatric uh, and adolescent days, specific uh, OTZ champions who are peers actually leading the response for uh, children and adolescents and we also have caregivers taking part in that process. One of the things that we've been able to do is to look at efficiencies in HIV testing. We know more targeted testing through what is called partner notification services or index testing and it has increased our testing yields from less than 2% to, to almost 4%. The other model was actually based on resiliency and adoptive programming. Like for example, during the COVID pandemic, we were able to introduce a very robust IPC system, courier deliveries uh, for drugs for patients, and also mobile dispensing for methadone in prisons. It has made our pharmacy services more efficient in terms of even distribution of drugs. They provide transport for us to be able to you know, give to all our facilities lab networking whereby you know we can receive samples from all the other facilities and take them to a lab and also disseminate the results in terms of infection prevention it has done a lot of mentorship and uh, you know capacity building for the health workers we have been able to ensure that all the services which are being offered uh, in CCC are up to date the test kits are available the, sta the, the staff are there and they are also paid We also have a very strong health information system and the team members are again uh, supported by PACT and ELESA. It supports like CMEs in the facility, that is continued medical assessment, that is empowering the staff, ensuring provision of ARVs, general hospital supplies and medical instruments like the microscopes, basic supplies like cotton wool, gloves. The and ELESA project have been able to support Uh, approximately 50 facilities. This support has extended to Human Resources for Health, where we have over 200 uh, personnel, commodity management support in terms of supplies, uh, sample referral networks have been strengthened through our partnership support. And one of the, I think, the successes of the Pact and Laser project was the case management process, which moved from being led by healthcare workers to being led by peers who are people living with HIV, following up their peers, following up the patients who are defaulting from treatment and bringing them back, and also ensuring that they are linked to services. There's a, a movement we have in OTZ called OTZ Club, which these are young people where we, we go out to, to interact more. So the moment we, we call upon a packed and a laser in any activity we have, they come through because it's a good thing and it's a big movement where young people are accepting it and they are owning it by themselves. Papa, mama kia. Imenisaidia sana kama mimi. Jumini kama niko single mother na watoto wangu. Sasa nikijeni hiyo papa mama kia nilikuwa na motivation nyingine kwa maisha yangu. Azin niko supported. Service hapa ni mzuri kwa sababu baka afya yangu ilikuja ikakuwa mzuri. 
dawa na pata hapa kama ni clinic na kuzanga tu huku na nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu imenipea baka family sasa niko na mtoto na nenda kupata mwingine size I'm seeing myself as a role model because I've benefited from all the services that we've gotten from soap clinics and uh, it is a turning event for for me because now I can I can sustain my family I can take my children to school I'm now a sober minded woman the toolbox for HIV prevention has also improved now we are talking about uh, you know um, uh, having um, other additions over and above the usual uh, comprehensive services for HIV prevention. We have a new tool now which is called PrEP. I think for me, uh, PrEP has actually made uh, big gains because we started with the data, you know, data PrEP, now we'll have long-term PrEP. The other thing is that at least I've seen a lot of acceptance of HIV programming. People who are HIV infected and especially from the K people population. Um, they have no, they're no longer shy in terms of actually, actually accessing services. We have very good indicators in the facilities that we've supported. Almost 30,000 patients on antiretroviral treatment, excellent linkages, very good viral suppression at 97%. It's, it's humbling to have been part of this journey and um, to work with the county towards achieving this. So PACT and ELEZA program has been underpinned by the principle of quality improvement. So QI initiatives have generally been implemented from their finance and operations systems to their service delivery systems. So that essentially makes it easy to actually put in small tests of change that can actually be, you know, authenticated or actually verified and, and translated to be long-term implementation strategies that live beyond a program. So I think the collaborative approach with which Pact and ELEZA has been implemented really makes it a sustainable program and that's something that I'd hope to see even as it transitions to CHEB Connect. The strong connection with the community has always been a hallmark that demonstrated its quality, um, but also the ability to use data to help guide um, best practices. We want CHEB Kenya to be a national pride um, and resources for the country of Kenya to be known as the, um, the center of excellence when it comes to HIV care and treatment and eventually becomes a re research center as well.